Yeah, I literally closed my eyes and for like two minutes and I was here. That flight was so quick. Like, it took me longer to get from Fort Lauderdale to Miami than it just did to get to Miami to Bahamas. That's how quick that, that was. I love it. I wish all my flights were that quick. <laughs> I'm staying at Paradise Island Ryu and they should have a shuttle waiting um, down at the bottom so um, hop on that right over for free free COVID testing for your two-day mark here free COVID testing for you to go back and free shuttle yep All right, so I'm currently waiting on the shuttle. So I thought I would just take the time to give you guys some information about the requirements to enter. Um, so you had to have, if you are vaccinated, you had to have either a PCR or an antigen test within 72 hours of leaving. If you are unvaccinated, it had to be a PCR test. You have to upload it up into a system where you get checked off like um, status checks and then they end up giving you a QR code. So in that system, you put things like your passport, your vaccination information, your COVID information, um, all of those different things. And then it has to get approved. Once it gets approved, you pay either a $40 or a $60 fee. $40 if you are vaccinated, $60 if you're unvaccinated. And then you take that QR code and you have to have that in order to check in at the airport to even get on the plane. So it really wasn't that bad. I made sure to get my COVID test on that Monday, the first day, so I didn't have any issues, but I am vaccinated, so it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. I am currently on the transfer, ready to go, but unfortunately I have to wait for two more people. I'm really about to ask the dude, like, can you come back and get these people because I'm ready to get to the resort. I'm ready to get my vacation started. Um, but yeah. It was such a fun, it was such a like easy trip. I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it was very smooth, very quick, not stressful at all. So I'm really happy to be here. The vibes have been great already. The people have been friendly and helpful. And I'm about to turn up.
today was really fun um just spent the whole day at the pool at the beach uh, participated in all little activities that they have out there at the pool deck um came in and napped i was so tired and i definitely overslept but i'm up i'm so proud of myself because sometimes it's like really hard to get up but i'm here um i was supposed to like decide to dress up tonight for the first night because it was like why not it's the first night you just chilled at the pool all day dress up but there's no dinner reservation for tonight so i'm just kind of like gonna throw something on go to the buffet probably and then try to leave and go into the town um to see what they have going on and then actually i have two reservations for friday and saturday so actually take the time to dress up for those um that's how i'm gonna do that so yeah um there's a lobby bar i'm gonna go see if they have some martinis um and then maybe catch a taxi into downtown nasa or go to the casino in atlantis i'm not sure I'm gonna go figure out what there is to do tonight all right i'll catch you guys in a minute all right so i made it down um i decided to dress chill as i said because um i thought i was gonna end up at the buffet but they were able to fit me in so i ended up at crystals and um have some nice wine. Thank you. Is it time to share? It's couscous. Okay, so dinner. Well, the appetizers and the starters started off a little slow. I was worried, but the main courses were actually good. Um, the lobster risotto was good. The beef medallions were good. And the lamb and couscous was good as well. So I am about to enjoy my martini and head over to the show that they have going on. I can hear the music from right here, so. We'll see um, how that is, and what's going on over there, and what the night brings. All right, guys, so made it to Calypso. As you can see, everybody's just vibing. They have the bar that's open 24 hours, and then they have the current entertainment show for the night. So every night, they have a different type of show, and tonight at the show, they had basically um a cultural dance show so every country showed their native cultural dances it was very entertaining very informative it was very cool actually to see um them display all the dances from the different countries i even got up and danced a little learned some dances i loved it so after the show calypso actually turns into a nightclub so rounds 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 of shots um i had music listened to the dj and headed up so that i can get ready for the next day hope you guys enjoyed day one good morning guys so it is day two in bahamas and today is excursion day so i booked an excursion with sandy toes um, I'll book them below. It is a cruise or a boat trip over to Rose Island. And then they have snorkeling, they have paddle boats, hammocks, unlimited drinks, lunch, swimming with the pigs, taking pictures with the pigs, other animals, and a bunch of other little activities. So that's what I'll be participating in today. It's a full day excursion from uh, 9.30 till 3.45. Um, I have to take a taxi over to, um, I keep saying I'm about to take a taxi over to the bridge by Margaritaville. It's only like five minutes away from the resort. And then um, they take everything on from there. So last night was fun, um, as you guys can see, but I'm definitely trying to get off the resort a little bit more. But I talked to someone last night and I really, like, I've talked to at least three or four different people. I haven't came up with much regarding, like, things to do or things that locals do. They always keep saying, though, the fish fry or downtown or right over the bridge. 
um, outdoor things. They're, they're, they're very family oriented. He said a lot of times they're like grilling or barbecuing with their family. It's more intimate. Um, the one guy last night said he just goes to look to pick up girls, but I got his WhatsApp and I'm going to see if he can, you know, link me to some things later, but I'm going to rush down to breakfast right now. Um, and hit the buffet, try to grab some food and then grab a taxi and ho head over for my excursion. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right. get here the way they have it because they do have snorkel um you have to do it first so i basically i wanted pictures with the pigs so bad that i just decided like i was gonna come do that while everybody went snorkeling so right now there's like no one out here um i'm about to show you guys what it looks like it's empty they have water mats they have hammocks they have a bar with unlimited drinks um and things like that so i was able to get a good amount of pictures i just honestly didn't feel like snorkeling it is a part of the fee but i snorkel all the time so i just really didn't feel like it so i'm more gonna just like relax drink um maybe even take a nap on the hammock go out on a water mat maybe rent some water toys and um the guy is about to come back in 10 minutes and allow me to swim with the pigs before it gets too busy out here so um that's what that's what i'm doing right now let me show you guys what it looks like it's so pretty the pigs were really nice too by the way
After this, we'll be heading to the fish fry, find some drinks, some food. The edges is not staying, but yeah. This here is the crown cakes. Madam, this is your second taste, the healing style. <laughs> so I ordered the surf and turf and it was so good. I, I need to run it back. Like the, the crazy thing is I was about to not order it and the dude never told me it was lamb chop. Like if he would have said lamb chop, I would have just go ahead and said bring it on out. But no, he didn't say that. But now I found out it was lamb chops, I'm about to order another round. So as you can see, I ordered some shots. Um, I'll just be doing it. I, I, it's all inclusive, so why not? Like, if I, Honestly, I might wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and go get a shot because it's 24 hours. Like That's just what it's giving. But um, I'm about to honestly wipe my makeup off, go, um, get some rest, wake up for breakfast tomorrow, and then head into the town to go visit some historical sites. I have a whole list of places to visit. The plan is to initially take a taxi over, like I mentioned before, and then take the public transportation, which runs about $3, I think, 3 to $2. I'll confirm with you guys tomorrow. Um, and then hit the fish fry, try some local food, and then come back and chill at the beach, chill at the pool, and then get ready for the dinner at the steakhouse tomorrow night. So yeah, this is the end of, I got here on Wednesday, no, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, this is the end of day two. Time is flying. Got two more days left. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good night. It is day three in Bahamas and I just finished having breakfast at Atlantic and I am about to go to the front and catch a taxi to downtown NASA. I literally have a list of different places that I would like to visit inside of my notes. Um, some are historic sites, some have free tours, um, Junkanoo Beach. I think I also plan to go to the fish fry to have some local food today. I definitely want to see if I could try some conch salad. And then the plan is to make it back in time to take my COVID test at 5 o'clock p.m. Also spend some time here at the beach, Cabbage Beach. And also get a little bit more time over at the swim up bar and a pool here. Do some of the activities that they have going on and then have enough time to get ready for dinner at the steakhouse tonight. So I will definitely got, give you guys a full look at what I do in downtown NASA. Come along with me for my day three in downtown NASA.
so that was the queen staircase it was really beautiful in there and now i am headed to the john waitling's distillery so come along for the ride meet a bunch of people and tell them that he discovered the island. It's like someone coming to your front door at your home telling you you got to get out, right? Discovered the property before you. Just doesn't make any sense, right? All right, so we're going to move right along the... bigger places but um, I ended up getting stopped by a place called Big Yard and um, it's really nice it's chill it's cool in here prices were good I ordered the red snapper some french fries and salad then there was a gentleman outside that's making fresh conch salad and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it so I had asked him for a sample this size right here it's a large it cost about $15 he gave it to me for five dollars um, that was very nice of him it actually is really good I'm really enjoying it it was fresh um, mm -hmm. and then I also got the must-have sky juice I heard that if you come here you have to get it this is what it looks like and listen y'all it's strong. It is strong. It's good though. It's coconut based. With either rum or tequila. You should stop here along with your meal. They also give you free conch fritters and two free uh, Bahama Mama shots. So I'm about to enjoy my food and head back to the resort to enjoy the beach and the pool for the rest of the day and then get ready for dinner. back from my trip out into downtown NASA and I'm rushing to go catch a little bit of sun and the beach and the pool and whatever games they have going on before I have to go take my COVID test at 5 and then dinner later at 8 30. So the sun is still out, it's still hot, I can go do what I need to do. Alright so let me talk to y'all really quick while this nice gentleman makes my drinks. Um, Downtown Nassau was fun, um, it's a good vibe, the people were nice, um, the tours went well, I mean it's pretty straightforward from what you already have saw, um, it's just expensive, like I guess like I'm so used to when I go out of the country like things are kind of cheaper or more affordable or whatever the case may be, but like everything is you know so expensive, expensive. so the rum, um, I mean not the rum, but the John Watlins tour is free. Um, the only thing that you kind of get included is the free little sample that you saw. Um, the fish fry was cool. Uh, the food was really good. It was fresh. The people were nice and they gave you free um, drinks or whatever. I mean, it was fun. It was good. I mean, I don't know. I was looking to do things, you know, more that like locals would do. But it's, everything is pretty like tourist based here because in downtown Nassau, that's where the cruise ship dock. So whatever. I am about to take these shots, head to the pool, and I'll catch up with you guys later at dinner. Here is the second shot. Oh my god. Round two. 
So I took a quick little detour to go get the little COVID test. It comes back in one hour, it's really quick. It took less than five minutes to do. So this is where I'm at now. You guys are gonna see. Rise and shine guys. It is bright and early here in Bahamas and this is day four. And unfortunately, I am checking out today. I have a flight at 1030 and they are super like strict about the three hour time frame. So the free shuttle service um, is actually already here. They arrived at seven o'clock um, and they would like to go ahead and leave. So I need to hurry up and run down give them my bag, grab a bite to eat, because I told them that, you know, they didn't tell me what time they were coming, so I just need to eat something real quick, and then um, head to the airport, go through that whole process, and take that little 45-minute flight back to Miami. It's been great, it's been fun. I'm really sad, I wish I had more time on this day, like a night, since it's so, um, such a short flight, I wish I had like a night flight or something like that, but checkout is at 11 anyway, so it's not too far off. It's not like you get to keep your whole day here on the last day, unfortunately. <sighs> so yeah, this is going to wrap up my Bahamas vlog, quick four day trip to Paradise Island at Ryu. All right, I'll catch you guys next time at Kalani's World.